Four months ago, we announced the Maxwell GPU. It is the world's most advanced GPU. The reception has been incredible. It is twice the performance per unit everything compared to Kepler. Twice the performance per unit area, twice the performance per unit energy, and it also introduced brand new graphics technologies such as VXGI, which is a voxel-based global illumination technology, as well as the world's first fully compatible DX12, a new API that hasn't even been announced and won't come out until Windows 10. Maxwell is unquestionably the most advanced GPU we have ever built. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're announcing that the exact same Maxwell GPU, the exact same Maxwell GPU will come to mobile devices in a processor we call Tegra X1. Tegra X1 is a mobile super chip. This little tiny thing here is a mobile super chip. 256 processor cores, CUDA processor cores, eight CPU cores in a four by four configuration. The world's first mobile chip to be able to perform 4K video at 60 hertz with 10 bit. Are you talking to me? My friend here, we're, we're like constantly communicating. He's giving half the speech later. Okay. The world's first mobile chip that can perform 4K 60 hertz 10 bit video in both H.265 and VP9. Nothing like it in the world. The world's first mobile super chip, Tegra X1. Tegra X1 is called Tegra X1 because of Maxwell. Tegra X1. The performance is really quite amazing. We set the bar with TK1, and it's the highest performance mobile processor in the world a year ago. Even to this day, it is still holds the performance leadership relative to all mobile processors in the world. This is comparing to the Apple A8X, which just came out a year later. And when you compare that to TX1, Tegra X1, we're gonna set the bar yet again. But what makes Tegra X1 really super special? and it's made possible because of the Maxwell GPU architecture, is the energy efficiency that we're able to achieve. With Tegra K1, we were already the most energy efficient architecture in the world. I don't mean just lowest power. Lowest power is an important metric and oftentimes comes with it low performance. The important thing about what we're trying to achieve because we're trying to deliver extraordinary performance within a very small power envelope, energy efficiency while you're doing a great deal of work is important to us. Super energy efficiency is vital to almost everything that we do. It is one of the reasons why it took almost, almost two years to bring the Kepler architecture to mobile processors. Today with the Tegra X1, we're gonna take energy efficiency to a brand new level. Unbelievable levels of energy efficiency. What this basically means is that at exactly the same power envelope as Tegra K1, we're able to achieve twice the performance. And if we, of course, increase the energy, uh, the uh, uh, thermal envelope, the power envelope, we can increase the power even further, performance even further. Now those are benchmarks and performance measurements. And tonight you're gonna see a whole lot of websites that deeply benchmarks Tegra X1.